Little introduction to our hustle and of course where it comes from. We know that it comes out of the 1970s and was a fabulous dance and is being revived. It is becoming more popular today than it ever has. Actually it's been done now all over the world. We've been taking it everywhere, me and my wife Katie Marlowe. Um, the dance started in New York City, um, basically out of the boroughs, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, brought to Manhattan around 1971, 72. By 73 everyone was doing a non-syncopated basic it was just six steps at that time. They added a syncopation, which was really taken out of mambo. That's where the ball change comes from. Um, it started a six count with a syncopated step. By 1975, it became a three count because we dropped the first three steps. That's why uh, actually it was counted one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it went to one, two, three, and four, five, six. So we dropped the one, two, three, and then it became and four, five, six. Hence, we have the and one, two, three. So if you're confused why we count it that way, it's because if you know where it comes from, then you know where we are today. That's where that comes from, the actual change of rhythms and stuff. That's why Should the we basic show is that way. Yeah, absolutely. Let's show you. So watch this. If we did this, if we uh, originally it was one, two, three, four, five, six. That would be the first. I'll show it to you this way. This was the original hustle. Yeah, it was like a line dance that actually came out of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then, like mambo, you know, at the time, everyone did the little mambo step here. You see this little mambo here? This little step step? Now watch this. We go one, two, three, and four. There it is. Four, five, six. Let's do it again. One, two, three three, and four. Now I'm showing you this one particularly because there were a lot of versions. There was the tango hustle, there was that kind of hustle, all kinds of hustles. Latin hustle. But, <laughs> yeah, well the Latin hustle is this. You see, and that's the thing. Once we took the, uh, stole that step from Mambo, then it became Latin. Then of course the phrasing, you know, Latin hustle came along, the catchphrase. Where the Latin kind of like dropped off the face of the earth and they started calling it hustle was when Van McCoy came out with that song, Do the Hustle. And it actually won a Grammy. When it won the Grammy, went all over the world, you know, because television does that, and then the Latin was dropped. Then it became just hustle. Okay, but let's talk about how we went from one, two, three, and four, five, six. You notice the four, five, six? Now, of course, we were side by side. They caused the dance to do this. We had these ropey little things like this here, you see, and we danced this here. You must have seen this on TV. You see this? Remember this? Okay. Now, from here, it went here. It went into a slot, which now is why a lot of the West Coast swing dancers feel that this comes from West Coast swing. But let's clear that up a little bit. In New York City, there was no West Coast swing being done. In the 70s, we didn't find any place that was doing West Coast swing. They did East Coast swing because there was like little hubs, little places that would do ballroom dancing. But in the general public, if you went to a club, you went to any fashionable place, you were not doing West Coast Swing. So I don't know where that came from. Um, probably in transit, people will come to New York, they'll take it somewhere else, and then during that period, they kind of took it there and incorporated stuff that they got from West Coast Swing and so forth and so on. But so that, that kind of like, that myth is kind of like cut right there. I, mean, I feel like the myth, the, what do they call it, that show? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, busters, the myth busters, whatever that's called. So you see what it is if we went one, two, three, and four, five, six, resembling West Coast Swing. So what happened is that when we got here, we dropped the one, two, three. So it became and four, five, six. Hence, a one, two, three. So that's the evolution. That's how that happened. What's exciting about it now is that now it's become really elongated and it's long, so now we do exchange of sides. Of course, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one. And then that happens. And once you get that in play, there's a lot of more interesting stuff. But I just wanted to briefly tell you what went on in the first four years of this dance. And um, now it's like we're in 2008. Everyone all over the world is doing it. I'm really happy that Dance Vision is taking it, making it part of DeVita. I can't tell you how excited the hustle community is right now about embracing the syllabus, and I can't wait to get started. And with Jamie's help, we're going to do a great job. Thank you.